Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, a new video series I thought we'd give a try today. Um, basically, uh, in the past I've done quite a lot of kendo analysis videos where I've taken various videos from across sort of the internet, YouTube, whatever, and we've sort of broken them down and analysed them. Um, I'm sort of thinking of something in a similar vein, um, but hopefully something that might help everybody with their own uh, Mitori Geiko journey. Uh, Mitori Geiko, of course, being the watching practice where you watch kendo and learn from what you see. Um, and what I thought we could do is a short series on sort of... Um, sort of famous competitors or players or senseis uh, that we can sort of look up, you know, look up to. Uh, we can pick them up. We can have a look at um, some clips of, of their kendo. Uh, and then you can sort of go away and look into them more um, if, if it's something that interests you. It's basically um, supposed to be a tool, I guess, so that you know, you know, when you when you're out there looking for uh, kendo videos to watch online and um, maybe there's some names that you can search and you can sort of follow um, you know um, the sort of career path of, of different competitors um, and I'm doing it throughout throughout history as well it's not just current ones and um, in fact most of my favorite competitors are from sort of 20 years ago or more um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, before we jump into it though, uh, if you do enjoy the videos that I put out for free, um, whether it's videos like this, whether it's instructional content of which there's more on the way, um, or whether it's the weekly kendo rant which will be uh, coming out every uh, Friday, so that'll be tomorrow, <coughs> um, then don't forget to support the channel. Yeah, you know the whole YouTube stuff, like, share, subscribe, all that. But most importantly, uh, you can support us by shopping at kendostar.com. That's my website, of course, that sells amazing, fantastic, wonderful kendo equipment. Um, so yeah, get to kendostar.com and do your shopping there. Right, so what are we going to be looking at today? We're going to be looking at, at one of the most successful uh, competitors in kendo history. I thought no better place to start than with the legendary... Uh, Miyazaki Masahiro, or Masahiro Miyazaki, depends which way you read his name. Uh, his family name is Miyazaki, and his uh, given name, of course, is Masahiro. Uh, very, very famous kendo uh, sensei, uh, now an eighth dan sensei. Uh, basically has won every single tournament there is. <laughs> uh, and has, has won the, uh, the men's All Japan Kendo Championships more than anyone else. Um, so, we'll have a quick overview of, um, of who Miyazaki sensei is. And then we'll have a quick look at a few few videos of him. We'll talk a little bit about his kendo. And then if you, you know, obviously um, feel so inclined, uh, you can go away and, and search uh, more um, of the wonderful, amazing, fantastic example of kendo that is uh, Miyazaki Masahiro. Okay, so here we have um, a, a, a short sort of overview of uh, Miyazaki Sensei's um, sort of Kendall career. This is a Wikipedia article um, centering around uh, Miyazaki Sensei. Um, so it gives his sort of basic stuff, the introduction to him, of course, um, being um, his name, Miyazaki Masahiro, and then it, it puts it in there. Uh, hiragana as well, so you can read the kanji because there's different ways you can read kanji. Uh, he was born um, in f on February the 5th in 1963 um, and he's a Japanese kendo practitioner, uh, kendoka, uh, the police officer um, and he's also um, basically the high up in the kendo police kendo teachers. Um, so he's basically a police kendo teacher of uh, Kanagawa uh, police kendo. Um, he's got the eighth. He's Kyoshi Hachidan. So he's got the eighth done. Um, and it just says a little bit that he was basically mainly um, competitive in the 1990s. Um, and has the one of the best, uh, well, basically the best uh, results in history. Um, often called as the Heisei no Kengo. So the Kengo would be like the sword master. Um, so, and Heisei is the, 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 the period, the era. Um, so yeah, um, also Kendo Kai no uh, Tetsujin. So like the super, like really hard guy <laughs> um, of, of the Kendo world. Uh, Doryoku no Tensai Kenshi. So, um, like the genius and uh, genius of perseverance, um, 
Kendoka. Uh, lots of sort of things. We've got a bit of a history of his, uh, you know, um, Kendo life. But what we're going to skip to basically is this sort of timeline and his results. Okay, so we won't spend too much time on this. We'll get into some videos in a minute. I promise. Um, so 1990 um, was, this is this is about the All Japan Kendo Championships, okay? The All Japan Kendo Championships. 1990, um, he, I think it was his first, I, it, it doesn't say if it was his first entry or not. I think it was though. Um, he achieved first place. Um, so there we go with two men strikes in the 39th. Uh, he also won that one in 1991 again. Uh, with two men strikes. Interestingly, this his opponent here was Ega Hideyuki, um, the current eighth dan champion. Uh, in 1992, he um, was defeated in the third round, but won it again in 1993 uh, against his brother <laughs> with a single men strike. Uh, 1994, um, he lost in the quarterfinals. Uh, he lost in the third round in um, 1995. 1996, he won it again uh, with a Kote strike. Um, in 1997, he came second. Um, again, against his brother. Um, and in 1998, another win, single men's strike. Uh, 1999, he wins again. Uh, so that's with two men's strikes. In 2000, he comes second place uh, to Ega Naoki Sensei. Um, very famous match, that one. Uh, and in 2001, um, he, uh, he he's uh, defeated in the second round. Um, in the World Kendo Championships, in the teams, uh, he was on it four times uh, and was part of the winning team every time. And in the individuals, um, in 1991, um, he uh, so he he was uh, defeated in the semi-finals, and in 1997 he was um, victorious in the individuals uh, again against his own brother. He won with a Kote strike. Um, he's also had a massive number of successes in the All Japan Police Championships, uh, winning it in 1991, 1995, 96, 97, 99, and 2000. Um, and in the intermediate years, these are things like third place and second place. Um, also, uh, the Police Team Championships uh, won it in 1998, 99, um, and the Koktai, which is a sports festival. <coughs> It's like a, it's like a, like a, a Japanese Olympics, like between the prefectures, and kendo is one of the sports. I uh, won that in 1998. Then the seventh dan tournament, um, he won that five times, <laughs> uh, and then came second three times, um, and then uh, that was a Thai guy that only actually ran up to 2006. Um, then the, uh, the eighth Dan Taikai, uh, it's not the, um, it's, it's the Tokyo eighth Dan Taikai, um, and he, that was the 10th one in, uh, 2010, he won that, and then the All Japan eighth Dan Taikai, uh, he's came, he came third in 2015, and then he won it twice in 2016, and 20. 17 and then there's a, a whole ream of um results from um competitors and his students as well um so not only has he proved himself as a fantastic competitor himself but also as a wonderful uh kendo teacher so um <clears throat> as we can see there very very um accomplished amazing wonderful uh kendoka uh let's have a look at some of his videos Okay, so I popped over to YouTube now. Um, <clears throat> there's a great series of Ippons um, from this uh, great channel, Loganbury, here. Um, it's just one that came up when I searched, uh, as you can see up there, Miyazaki Masahiro Kendo. Um, uh, let's have a quick look. Um, hopefully there's uh, some sound. <laughs> so these are, these are various Ippons from different tournaments. He's here on the right. Wow, Kote. Not Ippon though. <laughs> this looks like from the footage, it's a bit of an older video, but he's a player in red. 
opponent is obviously a Jordan player. Wow. So, Tsuki. Katatitsuki. Interesting first one. Uh, Miyazaki Sensei, probably most famous for his men's strikes, but actually um, he has a massive array of wonderful techniques uh, and he's won many shiai with lots of different strikes, not just men's strikes. He's here on the left in red. Subin's a reaction. Boom, there we go. That's the men strike. So that's the, the famous Miyazaki men. Yeah. See how he actually uses his lower body so much. Um he uses quite a wide stance, something quite um quite common amongst uh sort of successful Kendoka from Kanagawa in my experience. Um but essentially he plants his left foot here and it doesn't move now and he starts to move forward with his right leg straight away. Okay, and his opponent just doesn't have time to react. He takes the shortest possible route to the men, straight up, men. Um, and it was this kind of um, men strike and this style of kendo that really changed the face of competitive kendo. A lot of the, if you look at um, kendo sort of before 1990, 1991, if you look at competitive kendo, it looks a little bit different. And I really think it's my own personal theory that Miyazaki Masahiro came along and sort of broke the mold and um, forced Kendall to kind of evolve a little bit. And I really mean that in a good way. Um, and it, it started to take an even more um, faster, um, dynamic, and more explosive uh, path. So um, I really think that um, Miyazaki Sensei played a big role in that because you can see an, uh, you can see a distinct change um, in, in Kendall um, after that period. Oh, we get a slow motion version. <laughs> Good. So, no wasted movements whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And there it is. It's almost the same men, right? Almost the same men. But this time, just as they separate... Just as they separate, he straight away puts that pressure on here. He starts to put the pressure on, okay? His left leg is, is planted straight away, and he starts to put the pressure on. And his opponent, the only thing his opponent can do is either try to defend or try to attack. Um, and he obviously, he, he opts for the attack, but he's just that split second too late because Miyazaki Sensei has obviously taken the initiative, he's initiated the interaction, and like I say, there's no wasted movements whatsoever. Fantastic, powerful men's strike. Okay, so I've just skipped ahead a little bit. We'll see uh, what the next next one is that's, uh, that's coming up. So here we've got um, Miyazaki Sensei versus Ishida Sensei, another very, very famous competitor from this era. Probably one we'll cover in a different video. Wow. Again, that wonderful men's strike. So this is a really interesting one because he actually sort of, you see how he adjusts his left foot and he kind of, he, he kind of withdraws a little bit and it sort of, it, it, it kind of encourages Ishida Sensei to put that pressure on a little bit more to try and invite the men's strike. Because um, it kind of looks like Miyazaki Sensei is, is sort of breaking under pressure, but he's not. It's kind of a trap. So Ishida Sensei kind of gives that little bit of extra semi because he's going to do the men kaishido. But because Miyazaki Sensei isn't really broken under that pressure, he's just readjusting that to give that impression, he's able to make that men strike actually connect. I mean, it's just so fantastic. It's so, um, you know... There's there's no waste whatsoever um, in in his movements. I think against a different competitor, that could have very easily been Ishida Sensei's door. Uh, so I think this is from uh, from his actual grading. I'm not sure which one could be seventh dan, could be eighth dan.
There's obviously this competitor, I believe. Competitor and trying for the, wow, look at that. Trying for the, the grading. See that? That was uh, another famous wazo of his. is Kote Kaish Kote. I know he didn't hit perfectly, but what a fantastic strike. Such a difficult technique, right? And again, again. Kote Kaish Kote. We're going to see it in slow motion. Wow. Fantastic, fantastic. That's a, such a tough waza. Such a tough waza. Okay, we'll look at one more and then uh, then I'll leave you to your own device if you want to go and look at... Uh, there's, there's loads, loads out there of uh, Minazaki Masahiro Kendo. Loads that you can look up. Um, and uh, yeah, um, let's have a look at one more. Missed it. <laughs> so, this is an interesting one so against another Jordan player. This is Yamamoto Sensei. Um, very famous competitor in his own right. Um, his daughter, Yamamoto Mariko, is a very successful comp competitor as well um, on the women's circuit. So here he is um, against uh, Yamamoto Sensei. Getting piling on the semi. Wow. Wow. So another Kote strike, yeah? So I remember I said he's very famous for his men's strikes, but he's really a master of all sorts of other. So this is a very similar one to that one he did on Ishida Sensei, right? You see how he adjusts his left leg there. He, he moves his left leg back and then he plants it. And it, it's very confusing for his opponent as to... It, it almost looks like he's, he's, he's trying to get away, but actually he's not. He's, he's readjusting so that he can immediately then strike this kode here. Yeah? Very, again... Just like the men's strikes, no wasted movement, no wasted effort, just straight to the target. Bam, this way. Absolutely amazing. Let's watch that one more uh, time at full speed. There, bam, cut it. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, great. <laughs> I just could watch them all day. But there we go. There's um, there's some introduction to uh, Miyazaki Masahiro Sensei. Um, I know he's a super famous competitor. Maybe you knew a lot about him. Maybe you hadn't heard about him before. But uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like this kind of video? It's just supposed to be a short introduction. I'm planning to do a sort of series so we can look at... Um, you know, lots of different famous competitors from, from around the, the sort of um, the decades, really. Um, I started with Miyazaki Sensei because he's such a famous competitor. I will start highlighting other competitors as well that are potentially not as well known. Um, but yeah, um, go away, go and have a look at some uh, some of the uh, thousands probably of videos of uh, Miyazaki Sensei out there on YouTube. There's a lot to be learned um, and some brilliant Kendall to be seen. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, shop at kendostar.com. Until next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.